Hello, hello, let's talk about Easter, spring, yarn, knitting, decoration, um, crafting generally. Uh, let's talk about this, what makes us happy here on this channel and in your lives. Obviously you are here for knitting and uh, knitted garments or accessories. So let's talk about yarn mostly but seasoning knitting is uh, important i think um I, it's important to me and that's why i'm i this is a special episode spring spring knitting spring uh, decoration spring um happy feeling let's talk about colors and yarn my name is anna this is a knitting in mauritius podcast i'm living in mauritius as most of you know already, and I'm Polish originally, uh, living since many years in Mauritius, got nationalized also, uh, having German husband, having mixed kids and a small zoo at home. <laughs> so this is me and I'm wearing today my Finnish object and a new pattern, uh, which will be released only in July because now we will be the, it will be in testing. But this is the big V, obviously it's a big V, a big V sweater with eyelets, with um, a block of um, lace in front, with block of lace on the back, and reglan top down, big, boxy. There is no um, uh, decreases in a sleeve. I wanted to have a big sleeve and because I wanted to cover my hands and uh, later on the idea is that I will be when I'm a bit too hot in a, uh, Europe on my holidays one day then I will be doing this and it will look also good three quarters uh, it's a great uh, garment for a uh, traveling for a plane sitting because you're comfortable you're not squeezing in some uh, very tight uh, clothes and garments so i am planning to wear it for traveling and when i'm in the plane what new in my life and in my crafty life as you can see i was decorating my crafty corner i will lift a little bit here is more flowers i got some flowers made by um from a paper that's paper uh, sorry now i don't see you well um it's made with paper and some pompos as you can see um uh, you stick it uh, you make the forms you're stretching the paper you're sticking with a hot glue tag uh, no hot glue glue <laughs> gun and uh, on a piece of carton or, or pop, uh, paper plate um, on the back and then you make a little hook on the back and then you just hang it on your walls or putting somewhere on a table in the center of the table for Easter or you can even put the a second paper on the back and a stick and you wrap it the flower to the stick and you have a big flowers standing in your uh, house inside indoors um i did one for my friends she was having a birthday on sunday actually but we went to see her on saturday and i gifted to her and these are three which i made yesterday i wanted to make this corner a bit more colorful a bit more uh, happy and i used some leaves some birds pictures and so this is my uh, Easter Easter crafty corner and I got the idea from one um, German um, youtuber not youtuber it is on an Instagram sorry on Instagram and I will put the name here so you can see what they do they talk German there but everything you can see you can do it on your own later on because you can they, they whatever they do something crafting something uh, you the the, the uh, showing to you so you will see that it's a paper paper plate that it's a hot glue gun that it's a paper to to create let's say the petals of the flowers and they do 
many other designs and uh, yeah so i i appreciated this uh, video thank you so much guys i don't know you but you are very fun and uh, yes this is my beautiful colorful corner here um that's the first thing i made it and it's completely different than yan another thing what i did it it's also different than yan but it's closer to yan uh, my son and me uh, we got um idea i got the idea actually i i want to dye my own yarn uh, and i bought some um, acid dyes in a craft shop here and just for testing if i can do speckles or, or whatever something like beautiful you know some people like let's say uh this one um it's from um sprinkled fibers this yarn is beautifully dyed and i was trying to do something on my own because i i placed order for undyed yarn but i don't think this is my gem i don't think i will be uh, dyeing my own yarn okay maybe like um one color when i would need some blue yarn in one ton or when I need uh, some yellow or in a one ton but I will not be really trying to dye speckles and I took one yarn from me which was having already color but the speckles came like a big spots like this so it's a sort of waste I will, I will over dye this yarn one day in something leftovers of the dye uh, but I don't think this will be my um, my thing to dye yarns anyway i'm a little bit scared about the what i was watching on on youtube's um tutorials how to dye yarn uh, i see people wear masks and eye protection i tried to do it and i'm scared that it will come to my lung or my child's lung or whatever i have special pot now and and a spoon and tools to 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 that i put on the side from my kitchen I will not use anymore for my normal cooking but I I don't think I am a dyer I don't think I have a dispersion and this fineness to, to do nice beautiful speckles and uh, I'm scared or to finish the story about being scared I, I'm scared about this uh, powders that they will go into my lung even though that I was wearing a mask and I was having this eye protection also, I realized that uh, when I was, I switched off aircon and I, there was no wind, I realized that on my table, even after, even after a little only trying to speckle um, the dye to the fabric, the dye later, when I cleaned my table with wet tissue, it was the tissue was completely colored in all kind of colors which i was using so it was the powder is really spreading a lot and i don't want to put it on my on my foot and i'm saying i must say th now thank you to all the dyes you're doing a great job and i'll be your your uh, customer forever because i will not do i will not dye my yarn uh, the yarn which I ordered, uh, which is undyed, I will just be using to hold with another yarns. I have so much of um, alpa silk alpaca or kit silk mohair, the lace uh, yarns, which I can hold together and I can make some blankets or I can do, I will be doing some sweaters and so on and just give some colors from the kit silk mohairs. And so, but coming back to what we did, my son and me we uh, did color a t-shirt for him so this was completely up to my son how he did it he some parts he put a um, elastic around of the t-shirt and then he dye, put pour some color in uh, in some parts he just stretched the fabric so this is here his easter t-shirt t-shirt so we all it's all about Easter, I think it's very colorful. <laughs> instead of instead of eggs, we color t-shirts. <laughs> so this is a t-shirt of my son. 
I think it's very nice. And here I tried to make this packet, but it really didn't come so fine as I want to. So this is a one uh, finished object in different object. It's, it was dying. Then what he wants to do, wanted to do, because he loves this kind of uh, watercolor uh, uh, t-shirts in the watercolors um, dyed. So he was having a white uh, bamboo uh, bed sheet and uh, we took his bed sheet and we colored in some. Uh, this was the first thing we have been dyeing. So these colors I we tried and as you can see, the gray doesn't go well too much with the yellows and the blues and pinks down there. But the speck is already yes. But this is two big spots of dark. It is looking like a, a bit like a um, here on the top, like a thunderstorm, and here like a, a beautiful uh, summer day. <laughs> this looks even like a flower stem and the flowers. Okay, so this is uh, his uh, cover for his uh, cushion, but this side we would be. Uh, adding some yellows and pinks, uh, brighter colors to this side. And the same we did with a uh, uh, duvet cover. Um, and this is bigger to show on the camera, but it is better dyed than the, okay, than the cushion. So the this we got already a bit more experience and I will try to show you. So this is also the gray is here because this is this was the try, but this is more friendly colors here. And uh, when we went down, he was using more flashy color and the yellow and the greens. So this is his uh, bed sheets dyed on by himself. This we will keep it like it is because it's beautiful, I think. But the cushion we will be changing it, changing the color a little bit. So this was fun afternoon one day, and uh, yes, we enjoyed the, the the process. But I I don't like too much danger, <laughs> unnecessary danger. Uh, so I will be not really coloring uh, any yarns. I will be buying the yarns. So, friends, dyers, dye the yarns because I will be buying them. Um, second thing, what happened in my life happened something very interesting, actually. I love it. And I will be just showing you. As you can see, I have a lot of um, fabrics here and a lot of colors here lying on the table. And I will be showing you where this is coming from. It is from here. So uh, what the products I will show you later, but I will show you what I acquired, what I bought. I bought the central uh, circular knitting machine. Uh, we went, my, my kids and me, we went for shopping and we always pass, I always pass by by a crafty shop here and uh, I saw this toy a knitting machine and I just say okay it's a it's a quite cheap thing not too expensive let me buy it and let me try it so I got this one which I think it's 40 um, 40 stitches creating 40 stitches here uh, 40 hooks so I got the this is the medium size and I got this one and I came home and I tried the, to make a tube and immediately I got in love with this machine. <laughs> so I, I started to uh, check on the tutorials on uh, YouTube. There is many, many, many patents, free of charge patents, tutorials, uh, ideas you can find what to do with this uh, central uh, circular knitting machine. It's the same what you can do 
with um, Adi, I think, Adi, uh, Adi Pro, circular knitting machine. So the Adi Pro, I don't know, on the pictures, it looks a bit more sort of professional. This, when I was buying this, it was in a children's corner. And I, I never was interested about knitting machines because I, I always wanted to knit on my own, with my own hands. So, but when I saw it and I said, okay, let me try it. It's not a big, big deal to get it. I got in love. So this is making, you have a here small little uh, change and you can knit in the round, a tube, and you can also change to knit in the uh, panel, to knit panel. So you go not, not in one way only, not into front, you go front and back, front and back, and you knit your panel. To need the panel, I still I'm still working on it. I still didn't really got it how to do it properly that you don't lose the first stitches always, and that you don't drop them. But to need the tube, it's a, a amazing thing, and I will just show you what I can do. So I I got this one, and the same afternoon or evening I did the tube, and I did the tube with I will just show you with. Um, yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where's all of us here? Here. Sorry. I made a tube, as you can see. This is one skein of a uh, yarn. And this is the, this is another color, but this is the plum from um, Miss. I forget the name and I have a problem with reading. Miss Moon. Miss Moon. And this is 80% uh, uh, super fine sustainable merino and 20% baby alpaca. And it's 50 grams, 115, 115 meters. This tube I needed on this machine for maybe six minutes, 10 minutes, because I was still learning. It's amazing. So what I want to do with this tube, I will be doing, I don't want to pull it too much, but I will be doing a basic hat for my husband's third, third uh, grandchild. So here I will cinch, just basically cinch, there will be hat. And this will be a baby hat because it's a baby hat size. So on this 40 uh, stitches circular machine, you can make a baby hat or toys or many another thousands and other things. But I wanted to do also uh, bigger hats and smaller things. So I got the smaller, oh, this is a bit heavy because I put here my weights to hold it. There is no nothing to to hold to the table. So this is the small machine. It's a twenty stitches. It's a twenty stitches only. And um, so when you need, you have to put. You have to this one hold, or I put it my weights here to hold it well to the table, and then it's nothing lifting when when I'm knitting. Oh, this is on a tube now. So, and uh, the same thing you have uh, here tube and panel system and you can knit panel and you can knit tube and I have the third one which is bigger which is 46 stitches 46 hooks and you can make bigger things which I also did in the meantime so I will tell you I'm so amazed with these machines because I can do so many things for example I did this chick in, I think, no time. It was all together 10 minutes of work, this thing. So I put here safety eyes and I uh, put big and uh, the feet. This is a chick for Easter. And I once I was trying something with my um, uh, handspan bulky arti artisan yarn. So this is the little um, nest place to stay for this chick now so this is done by the 
small machine uh, by the small machine I did also another one which is still not finished but I will finish it for today so it's another, in another yarn by the way cotton yarns it's not great to work with these machines it's um, it's um, hard to work and I have a feeling that I will be breaking the machine so all kind of um, of course wool and all kind of uh, polyamide and acrylic yarns they will be good for it and they really slide very good on these machines so this is a uh, milk cotton one of these yarns which I got somewhere one day and it will be a chick out made out of this but what I wanted to show you what I did on the on the medium size I got the chicken 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 and here I did the um, buttons and the same big and bit of color here so this is a chicken mama this is a uh, he, her baby and this is where is he of course he fall down excuse me Opala. and this is the husband it's a rooster so rooster and mom and and uh, baby and it's not the chicken the um which is very popular right now the good vibe what whatever this chicken but it's a easter chicken it's my chicken i love chickens so this is one small bowl of acrylic yarn which i was having at home and i just made this also in no time so i'm so happy this chicken is going well now with the Easter, but also for all kind of decorations. Um, and her, her husband is a bit of uh, having a bit of more colors here. Um, this is a bit bigger here. I did it. Get, I I don't know. I would like to make a bit more like a wing here for the for the chicken. But l let's see if I will be doing before Easter. Because I have another priorities. This is enough for for the moment. So this is this chick, chicken mama, and and a rooster. Then I made another one with also acrylic yarn. This is another chicken mama. She is a bit taller, a bit bigger on her uh, body and smaller hat head. So this all you can do with this machine. You make tubes and from the tubes, from squares or from tubes or for, from rectangulars, you can make so, so many decoration, uh, not only decoration, you can make parts or even garments. Uh, you can make hats, you can make shawls. This is a dream to have a, a circular knitting machine at home. Uh, and I must say I am, really amazed and I will show you a bit more what I plan to do or I did or with what I did it. This one I did it with the uh, medium size one and this will be a future rooster. <laughs> so this is my chicks. Okay, what I did also um, and it, okay, owl, it's, it's just an uh, owl which is a girl obviously here and she is protecting the house now and it's um this is this uh, owl and this colorful chicken is made out of half of balls of acrylic yarn 160 meters so about 80 meters of yarn is gone here into this uh, animal so i still have lot but as i have a many many different kind of acrylic yarns in my house i will be doing much more of these toys and i will be doing much more of um even garments which i can just do very fast let's say in three four days i can do a, a beautiful pullover uh, and i will be gifting it or selling it because it's so easy to make it you you do blocks but what I found on uh, in, on YouTube's, you can most of the designs, of 
for garments they are uh, more basically made let's say they are panels made and they're connected to another panel without any just without any knitting in between or, or, or just with the basic crochet knits they are connected I want to do something completely different and I will just show you in the let's say in this one this is a tube of oh this is a yarn wool of anders uh, the kind of potent wool and this is preparation for a hat for my cousin when I will be in Poland I want to give everyone a gift in knitting so I need this uh, panel which when you're stretching the panel from the machine it's getting more uh, neater stitches because on the machine you have I think the tension is very uh, big I mean you how to explain like you will work with eight or nine millimeters needles but when you pull it down uh, later and stretch it, the stitches getting into place this is a long tube and I keep kept this ball still attached to this yarn when I cast off um, from the machine I don't bind off or I don't thread the yarn through the uh, life stitches I just I'm letting them be like here and I will pick them later when I will be working on them what why I'm doing this okay you can also thread it but I don't want to waste time so why why I'm doing this I want to do later when I put one yarn one side inside of the hat and it will be coming to this size so this I will cinch and this will be a hat normally but I can still keep going here and need something else or make some crown of the hat nicely and here I can pick the stitches and I can make some nice uh, two by two rib or something more fancy with this than only the cinched normal hat uh, so this is my plan to do with this with this uh, panel with this uh, tube with this one also actually and um, I have much more of these things which I would just show you what I what I plan to do this is a hundred percent merino one ball of 150 gram uh, or 150 meters here and uh, it is German yarn from Germany so now I will come closer, you will see how this looks from the, when it's out of the tube. And it, this is 100% wool, so it will stay like this when you don't do anything. So now I will stretch and look how this is coming to a place. And how this is looking now. So this is this part, this is this part amazing so this looks not so nice this is already looking much better when you <clears throat> holding in hand so you with this pan with this uh, tube i want to do also a hat but i kept also the stitches just uh, hanging i will pick the stitches later and i will decide later on what i will be doing I think I will be doing again two by two rib and then I will do here some on the top excuse me on the top some some centric or I will be doing something completely different maybe I will take it off few rows and I will just keep it like this once one very thin uh, hat so this is um, 150 meters of yarn 
in one tube and it will be worked over later. Uh, another thing I did it, it's this tube. <laughs> so it is a little bit like the uh, famous hat which people knitting, but the problem what I see on these machines, the gauge, you can't really change the gauge. The gauge is always the same uh, and because it's one kind of stitch and um, can be very airy, can be very tight, depends which kind of yarn you're using. Uh, I will try to find out uh, for myself later on to uh, which gauge this is knitting, uh, to which stitch, uh, to which size of needles it is stitching and knitting. So this tube I fix uh, one in the another uh, one, so the purpose colors and so on are inside, the yellow is green in outside and this will be a some kind of, this was a try so I will have to do some toy out of this or you know, you, I will stuff it and here this can be the head, this can be a body of some something of a doll for example or Yes, you can make so many things out of this kind of things. Why I did so many tubes and so many um, panels? Because I want to work over when I will be, I want to take it with me. And I want to work over when I will be on holidays one day or when I will be not able to knit and or, or, or sit or something. I will take my tubes uh, and my panels and I will be fixing them into toys, into hats, into garments. This tube, for example, is shopper wool, shopper wool, whole skin, 115 meters here. It is little tight, I must say. So when you will put on your, it's made on the small, uh, small knitting machine. So it is, the, the gauge is opening, so you can see my hand and so on. So you can do double, you can put one into another one, but I think I will be doing uh, after socks, after thoughts, thought socks. So I have a long tube, I will be cutting, fixing the front, I will opening, I will be opening for the toes, uh, for the heel, and I'll be making the heel and it will, and then I will add the ribbing and it will be two, two socks for a somebody who doesn't have a really big male size of foot yeah it's that color it's a bit more wintry but it is not so dense so it will be nice pair of socks which i want to learn to do the after sort um heel and uh and toes and I want to learn about this and I am ready to go because for this tube on the needles, I will need like three weeks. I, I don't like two sleeves. I don't like two socks. I don't <laughs> like two, two things to do. And in a small uh, circle, so to knit in a circle, in a, in a, circular on circular needles makes me tie it very quickly so i can work a few few rows and i put on a side few rows and i put it so to knit this it it will take me forever to on the circular knitting machine took me just very very short and then of course i want to do it finer because you can keep it like this you can stretch it to to fit on your foot but no 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 i want to do it finely i want to do make make different you know contrasting color on a uh, the ribbing and the toes and the heel and I want to do something special uh, <clears throat> to, when you do something I when I do something I want to do beautifully another thing what I um, have in plan then I have this year yarn um, it's acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic yarn, and it's, um, I will show you the colors. It's a beautiful color, when you see like this. And um, there is 160 meters in one ball. 
uh, I did two panels already uh, with two, and I did the panels just with, with two of the balls, two separate balls. So when you put them on, a, on your arms, they will be just right beautiful sleeve. I can pick stitches here, I can put the uh, cuffs, it will be looking good. And this I can connect to panels for a uh, pullover, to make a pullover. And this will be a pullover. I still don't know if it will be a um, um, pullover with sleeves or without sleeves. Because I think I have not enough yarn for this. So first of all, I will be doing, I will be, uh, these two panels, I have in plan to cut through, like um, the sticking, to make the sticking. And this will be the part here. So this will be cut here through. So this will be the one part, it will be the front one part, it will be the back. And this will be the sleeves. Then I connect them here and then I have the second already panel because I have done this already. So I will be doing the same for the second. Then I will make a panel for front and everything I will be um, working um, uh, on each of these panels. I will be making um, eye cut. I will be picking stitches and I will make an eye cut to make beautiful and to connect also that the it it is connecting beautifully and there is no uh, connection or rough connection problems or something like this. So this would be a sweater, but let's see if this sweater will receive uh, sleeves because for the moment it will be sort of like a sleep over. And uh, yeah, this will, this is one panel, second panel and uh, now I know how to do panel. So I will go panel front, panel back, I will connect and I will see what to add it is at. You can always add the ribbing for the neckline. You can make um, a you can add sleeves. You can do many things. It's a beautiful yarn, and I think it's amazing to to use it for uh, just gifting or even for myself because it's amazing yarn and it's lying since forever in my in my cupboards. So this is uh, one project. Now I just tell you what else but somebody is calling me excuse me another tube I made it and I made it a very long one uh, I have this yarn which is sort of like a, a sock striping self striping self designing sock yarn but this is in a worsted weight I would say DK worsted weight it's from Grundl German company and it's, uh, I think it's 50-50, um, 70 poly acrylic and 30 uh, wool percent. And I did this uh, huge one, I will stand up again. This is my, the stitches are hanging here loose. This is my tube. And my tube is, I think it's very beautiful. It is made with the bigger size of yarn to make a men's or woman hat. So, and it is really, really amazing yarn. I think it's a, a nice striping, nice color. And here, what I'm showing you, it is uh, five balls. So five balls, five times 160 meters. It's a quite a lot of knitting, which I will not be able to do it in such a time, such a short time on, on, with my needles. So what I did, I did this huge, huge tube with, and I have one and a half balls still left. What I wanted to do, uh, it will be a double, uh, one part, it will be a shawl, double, double shawl, like the, oops, uh, sorry, oops. it will be a shawl for someone, but 
it will be also a hat for someone and it will be uh, mittens for someone so with this you can make a beautiful mittens because you just connect you're sewing it on one side you're sewing it on another side and you have a mittens where your fingers fingers are heavy open and your thumb, th thumb is also out so with this i want to do all these three things i even will maybe make a, a two hats so somebody will have a, a set hat mittens and a shawl and somebody else will just receive a hat um and this i'm keeping for the ribbings and for the um hat endings and for making the crown beautifully so this is another uh, beautiful thing what you can do with the e tube you can prepare yourself with making a long tube or long panel then you can stick it or cut it or just uh, with your needles then you cut and then you have a sort of like lifeline and you have ready panels for your needed gifts or something for yourself whenever you you are tired with knitting by needles you can go to this uh, things which you have already put on the side and prepared before and you can knit them and i think it's a super solution because really sometimes i can do something very easy and just immediately it's ready and uh, or i am going somewhere or i can have i have somebody's visiting us and i don't have a gift i can just finish it in one hour extra or two hours extra and then it's done and it's beautiful garment or beautiful accessories then i did also i have this um yarns ah they're hanging here you're wondering most probably why the back is here i'm having this yarns this is um this kind of yarns this is um what is this 100 uh, percent polyester 50 grams in a ball is how many meters? Uh, 90 meters. And this is from Mariko Designs, a German uh, wool company, a Creative Bubble. And I have a few of these colors. And uh, before I did it, maybe you saw it, I did some sp sponges for, for bath for my mom and for my sister, but by knitting. And yesterday i just did a, a tube which i fix i cinch it i still is hanging parts uh, cinch it cinch it inside i fix it together and this is my uh, rubbing uh, sponge for a shower look at this all in this colors amazing colors now so this is um uh, a sponge for me you can make it all kind of sizes or you can make a sort of even like as a glove whole hand hand and you can just use using for your for your shower to or to yeah I have different colors also uh, so this is it was five minutes of work this my son was making it this for me um, what i did also i did a tube it's not ready yet because i have so many things on my on my uh in my life my friend's birthday was the then her mom um the next morning uh, broke her leg uh, then um my son's birthday is tomorrow 15 he's dead in 15 so and i need many things already weaving in the ends on this one was uh, forever and then i die and then i saw something so you know it's a uh, yeah uh, i'm not ready with all my things which i wanted to show you but easter is coming that's why i'm recording so this is supposed to be a mushroom but finally i decided it will be a but it's very short to 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 make it but it will be a gnome 
there will be beer, there will be the nose and the bonbon and whatever. This will be filled with, the hat will be filled with uh, the filling, this polyacrylic filling. And it will be a norm. And here I still didn't close it because I put some weight and it will be standing numb. So tubes, tubes, tubes. This is all made out of tubes. This is another chicken which is still not ready, not finished. And this is a pumpkin I tried also. It's not finished, um, but it will be soon. Uh, it's amazing actually, the colors, how they play together. So uh, many things you can do with this uh, circular knitting machines. What I did, and I love it, it was a test only yesterday, how much it was shrink. And didn't shrink so much because my, um, this is the, uh, I used the Feltro uh, print uh, from Lana Grossa, the, uh, the uh, felting yarn. And I did the medium, medium size, I will show you. This is, it was looking like this and it's now looking like this. So it was stretched to this size. It was knitted to this size and now this little basket is um, is standing next to my um, they still ends standing next to my bed and it's holding a mini mini skins rest of mini skins from a project I'm knitting now so this is a basket I felt felt it in a uh, made out of this yarn and I felt it uh, in uh, my washing machine and I didn't put enough of uh, bolsters and it should felt normally a bit more you can see still the stitches here but I'm fine with it I'll put it once again into washing machine when I will be doing more projects this is the button and so this is a basket where I'm having a small uh, yarns small ball of yarns inside uh, you can do so much with this uh, machines. I'm so so in love and because you know, I'm only in love because it's very very fast and sometimes I need some projects which are uh, uh, Instant gratitude. So I I need sometimes to 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 do this, you know, I Only with this few things which are, are here around me. I used two and a half thousand meters of yarn uh, in a few hours, few minutes, I would say. And um, which I will, two and a half thousand of meters of yarn, I will be using, wow, in a, what, two months, one and a half months. Uh, so this is an achievement. Of course, everything needs more fineness, fine finish, fine tuning, but I will be doing it, don't worry. This will be a frog. This is this is also a long tube. I put uh, one into another one, and this will be a frog in the future. Um, and now I have also um, I will show you I with this acrylic yarn. I did a panel, so not only tubes. I did a panel. And this panel came out very good. There is no drop stitches on the corners here, which is very good for me because on the beginning, on the beginning of the project, uh, no, on the beginning, on the beginning, no, here is, yes, on the beginning I, I dropped one or two, but this is okay because I, you know, when you, I drop one or two, but I will pick it later here and I can cut or I can, uh, with them up or something this is okay but I'm a little annoyed when it will be I will be a bit more annoyed when it's dropped in the bot in the body of the panel because you have a lot of work later to pick the stitches but this panel is amazing and um, I don't know yet what I didn't cut the yarn but even when I will cut it will be okay I don't know yet what I will be doing but maybe most probably something like this again I will have to see which colors are nice and it will be uh, top most probably again. So uh, panel, 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 I will connect nicely and I will be, but before any connection, what I will be doing first, I will be blocking this because it's rolling 
skin as you can see it's running in so i uh, because it's stuck in that stitch anyway but i will be blocking this um panels and the tubes to see the really size and this is acrylic but some of this like for example this panels here i uh I do in a beautiful hand dyed yarn. This is from Essence of Autumn. It's hand dyed yarns. Um, this lady has a YouTube channel too. And this is 100% um, uh, super uh, super wash merino. And um, so this is this yarn. It's so beautiful. It's hand hand dyed and it's uh, so I, this is uh, nearly one, no sorry, half ball of, of yarn. So must be hundred, like a bit more, hundred, like 10 meters of uh, yarn here in this. And I'm thinking to make a sleeve out of it. To make beautiful ending here. And uh, this will be a sleeve because here I have a lot of uh, this yarn, it's a decay. And what I do, what I did actually, because I didn't know how to do the panels properly at the time I was testing. So this is the second sleeve. And I did only uh, two small sort of panels like this. And I was unable to do this properly uh, because I was always dropping the stitches on the side. But now I know how to do it, and um, these ones are the stitches, live stitches on a on a, on a needle from the from the machine. But it's not not a great needle. Um, so what I was thinking, because I was not really great on the beginning with the spanners, so I was thinking to make uh, squares of different size, of different size, and then connect to each other. But now I know they are all still connected to the to the yarns. Um, now I know how to do the panels, so I think maybe I will unravel these pieces of panels and I will do proper size of panels, and then I will connect it to the sleeves. And with this one, actually, I'm thinking to do very something special. Very, I saw something on Instagram, but it's not really. I don't want to copy. I want to do something um, like a patchwork with the same yarn um, and then I want to uh, use another yarn to combine with this and in okay it will be not a pullover it will be a cardigan style made out of this things and in the part where it should go to the bottom side, I will be connecting it. I it's my plan. I will be connecting it with a panels of, of another yarn, and I will be doing the same here on the on the bottom of the sleeves. Also on the sleeves, I will be showing a bit of this uh, this yarn here. So it will be sort of um, illusion of uh, having a cardigan, but it will be pulled over with a cardigan with uh, having another pullover under but uh, it will be one pullover so this is my my plan in my head what to do with this with this yarn uh, that's it was this uh, what this easter is br giving me this inspirations um so i would like to show you some more little um it's not this watch it's already beginning of a, my new design my new pattern i'm doing something um, and it's a panel it's looking like a swatch but it's not swatch because swatch i already ripped off and i yes i was swatching one time uh, and uh, it will be a new pullover and i'm so in love look at this pattern look at this yarn so i'm using here the 
12 mini skeins from uh, Sprinkle Fibers, which you saw last uh, in last podcast. Um, I'm, I was showing you the bunny box I bought from Sprinkle Fibers and I'm using into this pattern. So it will be fading. And um, um, so this is the first ball. This is the uh, skein. This is the second skein. And it will be fading. It is the first part of this um, sweater. It will be a sweater. And I'm already visioning all this beauty. So it will be beautiful, I know. Uh, so this is the uh, number two ball. Uh, and I'm combining with this yarn. I remember I told you last uh, in last podcast that this yarn I will be knitting on its own, uh, but it is fingering yarn, and I after knitting here DK, I got so much now into DK, so I uh, want to give the DK effect, which actually it is not coming to DK. It, I think it's coming to spot, but it feels like DK. Um, because this is a lace yarn from the fiber company uh, and this is the middle and middle is i'm sorry my glasses fall down middle is uh it's a lace yarn and what is inside um 40 percent wool 25 percent lama 20 percent silk and 15 percent linen there is a 498 meters, 545 yards in this yarn. So it is a bit thicker than uh, lace. And I'm holding this together with this fingering from spring fibers. This hand dyed beautiful bunny box, which I received not long ago. This is coming to this fabric to this pattern and this idea of uh, wearing this soon it it is making me crazy so i obviously i will not be knitting for my sister very soon again because this is making me uh, not crazy but completely addicted i need to see the colors how they move and I realized not only me, a uh, um, selfish knitter, even though that I don't wear too much of my knits uh, because I have no chance to wear them by this weather. I'm a little selfish knitter, yes, I know. And I'm pushing everybody else on the another, on a, on a, on a side for a long period of time but yes my sister and my mom already received so much things from me so i need for them and i need for me but this one will be for me and my sister will have to wait for her colorful sweater i supposed to need for her maybe when i fi finish this one i will show her this one and i will show her this one and then i will let her choose i have the colors but i would choose let her choose which uh, shape she would like to have it so yes this will be the the sunrise sweater or sleepover you will see in the future so that's my end of my yarny stuff i have two more things which i would like to share with you i um my husband was no three more things sorry my husband was traveling to uh, Sri Lanka. I never been there, but I I know it's a bit more closer to to India, so it's a very uh, Indian. Um, the most of people and they are most Hindu and um, uh, people living there. So it's a lot of temples, a lot of. Uh, Hand, handcrafters there and it's very similar to Mauritius but more similar to India and to Nepal 
uh, in a way but what he bought me he bought me uh, three cups made by hand and they are made out of uh, this is made out of banana yarn banana fibers so this is made this little balls are made in uh, Sri Lanka out of banana fibers I can see this is still some plastic here so this is very cute I'm keeping I should keep them here for you to show you but then I will be um, uh, putting them downstairs and I will decorate uh, some things maybe nuts or things inside because it's all natural and so this is a banana yarn very interesting i have banana yarn also uh, but i was using one or two times and still is there in the basket together with the silk yarns and still is uh, waiting for me to have an uh, inspiration to to have them uh, sri lanka also is very interesting in a way uh, because of course i don't have the paper here it's somewhere but uh, this is um, a book which my husband bought for me and Sri Lanka are, are known to of having uh, elephants there so there is an elephant also on the book cover and it's a paper hand, handmade paper as you can see the designs it's a yeah so it's a paper but this is very interesting paper this is made out of elephant's poo <laughs> doesn't smell doesn't smell at all so <laughs> it's good but when you think they recycle elephant's tongue elephant's poo into a paper it's just something i know we have we have um we can produce um, electricity out of these things. I know we can uh, put these things into fields that our plants grow better, but to make a paper out of these things, I, I heard about this for the first time, but I'm very thankful to have this souvenir from Sri Lanka. Uh, when I went to um, shopping, it was two weeks ago, three weeks ago with my uh, boys. No, my boys went to the birthday. I went to the shopping. I told you about this in the last podcast. And I went I went to the fabric shop. So I got some uh, uh, many fabrics, but I wanted to show you what I will be doing. I just got a half a meter of this one. And... I will be doing a runner, table runner for my sister. I cut it already. I just need to. So this is a coffee and tea cups. And it will be a table runner for my sister. So I will make it uh, nicely, nice borders. This is a coffee shop. And uh, she will have a table runner with this uh, beautiful print. It's... Um, just something um, different and I don't know if I want to sew it the corners or maybe I should do uh, some crocheting around of this on this borders maybe this is idea maybe I do crochet and then we have a something really special from me and this I can do even when I travel when I will try um, because we, we most probably we will go first somewhere else for holidays and then we will go to my family so I could do it um, the crochet thing when I'm traveling I will see but I like to be always also prepared and the last thing what I will show you I think it's the last thing what I will show you today is this fabric which I bought in the shop this is so beautiful look at this ah sheeps this is a fabric with sheep I don't know what to do with it it's so beautiful now and it's so colorful I could make a maybe a project bags but I don't use my project bags so much I have these plastic bags and my project bags I don't know what should should I do I was really 
uh, considering to make a skirt out of it but um, it's a bit um, hard fabric so uh, I don't know if I I yes it would be beautiful because it will be this balloon skirt but I don't know if I will be really wearing it um, what is I can do with it do you think you can suggest something to me to do but I needed to buy so I got it I got it one meter only so I can do something but what to do with this beautiful fabric or oh, with the ships yeah maybe I put just on the table here but I don't know I I would like to have it more present in my life this ships um, yeah uh, so this is all what I I have to show you today and I hope you enjoyed this little uh, Eastery and um, crafty, different crafty uh, episode. I love to knit by with my hands. I think it's very precious when you work with your own hands. And but to make um, something very easy or, or a toy, you don't need to really knit with your hands. You can do it with this uh, central machines, and it is becoming exactly the same beautiful like yeah, like you will do it with your hands because anyway you adding the the eyes you adding the buttons you adding the small little details by your by hands or with crochet uh, technique um or the even the the garments or the hats shawls definitely you will be doing something extra with your hands okay you don't need you can just take it off of the machine and bind it off and it's done but uh, you can do something amazing and for me it's beautiful because I can use all my acrylic yarns and not only I can do something with my woolly wools uh, which will be very fast used or, or I can do yes the plan is also to do for my brother-in-law I, I think I showed you once a picture which hat he wants to do it and he wants to have a hat crochet hat with all this kind of colors something similar to this but in a in a bulky bulky color and and uh, yeah and i was thinking to do a hat for him bucket hat with this yarn uh, using the uh, big size big big size of the uh, center machine and just felting it and then stretching it because when it's still wet you can still adjust to your size so this i put it on a some kind of pot in the kitchen that's why it's having such a nice shape uh, when i was knitting the uh, slippers for home you put them on when they are still a little wet you put them in on your foot and you shape them to your foot then they getting the size of your foot and the shape of your foot so um this I was thinking to make a hat for him when he's still wet. I will put it on my head on my husband's head a little bigger head than me. And I can shape it then put on some pot or, 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 or some ball in which I will have it at home. And I was thinking to use this yarn to make a hat for him. I am sure, I'm sure my brother-in-law will love it. And even me, I will love it, I must say. Maybe first I do it for me. <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so happy with the centros because i will be using for some not so special things but beautiful things my mm, faster my yarn and i can buy new one i can go and buy new yarn because <laughs> because i will be using these ones which i have faster than i was thinking because you remember i asked you a few few podcasts ago if you ever think you will be using all your yarns in your life so i was very worried but i'm less worried now i'm going shopping <laughs> and i'm sure now all this yes now we start the se it's starting already the season of uh, ordering pre-ordering the advent calendars um um 
there will be now new yarns, new colors, spring colors. I'm sure there is many, many, many companies that are working or getting ready for new colors uh, released for a uh, uh, warmer, warmer uh, season now. Um, yeah, so I already saw on a Shoppelwolle site, Shoppelwolle, Zauber Balls and so on, they have new colors already. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I should uh, go on with some others or not. Uh, I'm really happy with this one purchase of um, uh, Centro machines. I got these three sizes and I can go on and do many things. And let me go now to make some one or two bunnies also because I have the chickens but I don't have bunnies for Easter. I need to make two bunnies or three bunnies and and we'll be done with the decoration for this year and yeah and then soon we start with Christmas <laughs> okay I wish you all happy Easter because it's coming soon and when you're not celebrating then happy spring times happy spring beginning of a, of a happy happy beginning of spring and um, enjoy your time and I know some of you you're not so happy because it's the warmer time coming and you will not be able to wear your your knitwears but you can always need something or you can always create something different with your yarn like toys cushions uh, blankets for home uh, yeah many things hats for like this for example yeah I mean bigger not this this is too small I'll enjoy, enjoy and happy Easter, happy time, happy life. Bye, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my movies. And thank you so much for being with me. Bye, bye, bye.